Yeah, good day guys. This is Chibuzo Agoa and you're welcome to Blogging for Tech channel. Um, in my last video, I showed you guys how to create a, a PayPal invoice and send to your respective customers. And if you could remember, I also promised that my next video will be PayPal related and this is it. Um, straight to the point, in this video, I will be showing you how to actually create a PayPal invoice link and send to your customers. You know, some customers, they still go an extra mile in demanding that you should send them an invoice link that you created in order, them, in order for them to carry out the payment. So in this video, that's what I'll be showing you, how to create a PayPal invoice link and share to your customer in order to carry out your payment. So let's get started. You are welcome to Blog Infotech YouTube channel. So welcome back guys. So um, like I said from the start, Blog Infotech is the name of this channel. If you've already subscribed to this channel, you already know what we do here. But if you're a new visitor, maybe you bumped on this channel because of this video. Let me give a brief introduction. So actually, um, in this channel, I actually dish out tutorials based on how tools that are basically related to technology trends and current information so as you can see in this the last video i talked about whereby i taught you people how you can easily create um a paypal invoice and send to your customers so if you're a visitor i'd like you to gladly be part of the family so you can do that by simply hitting the subscribe button and also turning on the bell notification so that you get notified whenever i release the video just like this so i will say do that right now so if you've done that already so let's get down to business so in order to create a paypal invoice i've already taught you that so if you could remember it said you can easily go to more and move down to create an invoice so if you want to share your paypal link i will advise you not to follow this step let me show you what you should do instead so from your paypal um, dashboard you can easily go to the top navigation bar and click on send and request remember follow this step like i said if not you will miss it so once you get to send and request you order see you see some other navigation like send request contacts and more so you can click on more so you can see a uh, a new page will pop up so now you now move to create an invoice whereby you can if as you can see from this very um link it will lead you to where you can customize track and also send invoices and you can also create an invoice from there so you could just click on get started so from the new window that will pop up so this is the last um this is the last invoice i created while teaching you how to create a paypal invoice so we shall use this as a sample still so from here you can see these are all invoices that i've created and sent from this paypal account with the money attached to it that i sent to each of my customers so this is the test um this is the test um invoice that we created the last time so now what you do to create or to share your paypal invoice link you now click to the you look at those three dots based on the invoice you are trying to share the link or create a link with so for example i want to use the first one like i said this is the test invoice I created from my last video so let's still use this one because I've actually shared the link of all this one and they have been paid earlier on. so it will be unwise for me to still create them or share the same PayPal link so you just click on this three dots let me click on it again so you can see you see various navigation send edit copy you can actually edit the same invoice you can record payment print download PDF so you now see on share link so this is what we are looking for so once you click on share link you're automatically creating a link to that invoice you can see how simple and easy it is so from here you just click on copy the link so i've automatically copied the link so in order to see if this is effective let us test it and this time around i'll be using a different browser i opened with the microsoft here. so let me use google chrome this time around so you now go to your um url bar you now got I right click and i paste this is the invoice link that i created so you just click on enter so let's see how the invoice will be displayed yes accept cookies so let's see how the invoice will be displayed at the corner of the seller so you can see this the link that we've created and once you share it to your seller you can see my name is there 
this is the amount I created. Oh, it's overdue because I actually created this invoice on the 7th of September. You can from the last video, so I have to still keep it because I want to use it for this very video that we are watching right now. So you can see this is the link that I've created. So whenever a customer um, asks you that, hey guy, after creating an, a PayPal invoice, kindly send me the link. So this is the step you should just follow. How easy it is. So those of you that are confused, you can see that it is actually easy to share your or create your, your PayPal invoice link. So once you've gotten the step or you see how easy it is, I would like you to carry it out. And once you've done that, you can kindly come to the comment section and say, yes, I did it and it's worked. And before you leave, because we've come to the end of this video, I don't want to waste much of your time because it's just a simple tutorial video. Kindly give me a thumbs up. Yes, if you find this video informative or educative enough, give me a thumbs up and also Go to the comment section and say yes thanks for this video say one good thing or the other so with that we've come to the end of this video and like i told you blog infotech is basically a youtube channel whereby i dished out tutorials or uh, do you do it yourself tutorials from the technology world so be part of the family in case you've not subscribed yet go kindly hit the subscribe button and also turn on the bell notification so that i get notified whenever i release my next uh, next video so keep on anticipating yes it's going to be a bomb as usual so with that we've come to the end of this video so we'll see you in my next video bye bye for now